flow over immersed body and boundary layer theory is the topic for the experiment 2 in engineering fluids mechanics lab. We are group 1 from section 2 and our members are Nur Atika, Muhammad Hanif, Ahmad Wa'i, Muhammad Aris Izham and Kumari Sen. My name is Nur Atika Binti Ahmad, and A1801. For the introduction, um, boundary layers is a thin layer of a flowing gas or liquid in contact with a surface. It is subjected to shearing force. A range of velocities exist across the boundary layers. Boundary layers can be either lamina or tubulus, depends on the Reynolds number. The objective of these experiments are to determine the speed distribution for the flat plate and to determine the boundary layer thickness of a flat plate subjected to longitudinal flow for smooth and rough surface. The scope for this experiment is first, the experiment is run on an airflow bench to observe the airflow profile. The angle used in this experiment is 0 degree, 30 degree, and 45 degree. The smooth surface and rough surface flat plates are applied in this study flow, in this study for flow patterns across the flat plates. Hello, my name is Kumar Resen Analaki Mohanarawi. Matrix number is MA18163. And now I'm going to explain about the theory of the experiment. So when a fluid moves through an object, the object will encounter resistance or drag force which keep the item from moving to its uh, trajectory or the, uh, the direction. So the force remains the same. Either the object go through the fluid or the fluid go around the object. So there is two forces an object will encounter when the object is moving through a fluid with an angle. So the two forces are uh, drag force and lift force. So on the right we can see the diagram which shows lift, total aerodynamic force and also the flow direction. Below the diagram you can see there is two equation which is the lift and drag equation. So for the lift equation, so lift is equals to coefficient time density time velocity squared over 2 time wing area while the drag equation is uh, drag equals to coefficient time density time velocity squared over 2 time referral area. So the dividing uh, streamline and the stagnation point will move down uh, causing the airflow above the wing and also decreasing in velocity below the aerofoil. So according to the Bernoulli's theorem, so uh, we can know that decrease in velocity pressure uh, decrease in velocity uh, causing the pressure will increase so when the pressure below the aerofoil is higher than the pressure above the aerofoil so the lift force is created in this way so as we can see uh, on the diagram we can see that the effect on the effect of the angle on the lift So these are the formulas that are using drag force and lift force. So as for the CD, coefficient CD uh, contains all the complex dependencies and is usually determined uh, experimentally. So as for the flow in the duct, so the flow in the boundary layer may be laminar or turbulent. So there is no specific value of Reynolds number to add the transition of laminar or, or to turbulent flow in the boundary layer. So there are few factors that affect the boundary layer transition. So the factors are pressure gradient, body forces, uh, free flow disturbance, heat transfer or the surface roughness. So in real life situations, so a boundary layer develops over a long uh, flat surface. So the picture shows exactly the limit layer development over a level plate. So, shear stresses are significant or important 
and the inviscid flow assumption may not be used near solid surface of part of the fluid flow and the fluid is hindered or hold back by fixed uh, solid surface and slow moving boundary layer was formed over time. So on the right we can see the relating formula used. So that's all from me. I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mama Ariza Mirza Hizam. My ID number MA18149. For that two investigations of flow pattern over immersed body and water layer. So for this lab, we have two experiment. Experiment one, we are doing investigation to. Uh, 25 flow pattern of symmetry airfoil had different angle of attack. So on experiment one, the manipulated variable is angle of attack. For the experiment two, uh, we investigate a uh, flow over flip plate. So uh, the reason why we uh, we perform experiment two to uh, to investigate the the airflow. Is it the laminar flow, turbulent flow? So for the experiment one, this is an uh, experimental setup. Uh, first, the initial height of the manometer was measured. The angle of the aerofoil is set to zero degrees. To allow air to flow into the chamber, the fan speed was set to theft and the blower was turned on. To allow the fog to flow in the chamber, the fog machine was turned on and the fog button was pressed intermittently. So this small controller we use to uh, to see the streamline pattern uh, and observe uh, and then we observe and sketch uh, the streamline pattern. Uh, to observe the change in flow pattern, the fan velocity was gradually increased. Uh, finally, step 3 and 7. Uh, step 3 until 7 have been replicated at 45 and 30 degrees angle of attack. For experiment 2. The experiment is set up as shown at this picture. The smooth surface flat plate is inserted uh, into the airflow bench. The first distance is taken as zero and the following distance taken. The pitot tube is connected to the vernier caliper. The pitot tube is first touched to the surface of the flat plate as the first data. The radio fan is then turned on and any data are recorded and tabulated. Next, the distance of the plate is taken from 0 mm increased by 20 mm to 140 mm, while the pitot tube a distance from the surface of lead of lead plate is taken from from 4 mm increased by 4 mm to 32 mm. Finally, the experiment is repeated from step 5 until 7 for the rough surface. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And good morning. My name is Ahmad Wa'id bin Muhammad Azmi. My metric number is MA18121. So, I will present my file. It is uh, the result and the uh, uh, discussion so for the first experiment uh, which is flow over immersed body so uh, this is uh, the result uh, we get uh, for the initial heat we get 137 millimeter so this is for the angle of attack zero degree for Starting which is uh, 12 for fan speed until 19. 
So this is uh, the head 123.5, So for the angle of attack 30 degree, the first speed, uh, the starting is plus until 19. So the head is, you can see 123. 
So uh, this is the attack angle versus the force. The starting point is zero, and it ended uh nearly zero point two five at forty five degree angle of attack. So this is uh angle attack for versus lift force. For the zero uh angle of attack, yeah, uh, it's starting nearly zero point four nine, and it ended. At forty five degrees is nearly uh zero point forty seven. So for the second experiment, uh we do is boundary layer theory. So uh this is the data that has been given to us. So for the initial heat is two hundred seventy eight point eh two hundred seventy eight millimeter. So we have been given the plate distance zero until one hundred forty. So this is the head uh, the boundary layer thickness also uh, is starting from 4 until 32 so uh, this is calculation that we use so for the Reynolds number uh, the formula is RA critical equal to W uh, times XU divided by V for the measurement of speed W equal to square root of 2 uh, P dyn divided by P for the measurement of total speed. Uh, P total uh, equal to P step times P dyn. So, uh, so for the first uh, result uh, that we calculate is uh, head distance uh, versus boundary layer thickness. As you can see, for the blue one is a uh, small like surface for the rough uh, flat surface is orange color so this is data that we calculate for the boundary layer thickness and the head distance so uh, this is for velocity versus boundary layer thickness also uh, the blue color is for smooth flat surface and the orange is for rough flat surface and the right side is the data that we calculate from the calculation that we shown above. So uh, this is for the Reynolds number, RE versus boundary layer thickness. And also for the blue color is for the smooth flat surface and the orange color is for rough flat surface. And the right side is the calculation uh, data that has uh, we gain. Uh, so this is the velocity versus plate distance. The left side is the data that we has to calculate. For the this one, uh, the left side one is uh for the smooth uh flat surface, and the right side is for Rough flat surface. As you can see, uh, smooth flat surface is higher starting than a uh, rough flat surface. So for the discussion, uh, based on the result as above in experiment one, above the investigation of flow pattern of symmetry, therefore at angle of attack zero degree, fifty degree and forty five degree, there are several conclusions can be drawn. Uh, both drag and lift force value increase slightly with the angle of attack. Both drag and lift force increase with the fan speed, and the lift force is greater than drag force at higher fan speed. So for the big uh experiment two, uh about the investigation on flow over flat plate with smooth and rough surface, there are several conclusions to be drawn. Uh, for for the first one is uh the further the plate distance the more stable and constant the velocity of flow, and the head distance, uh velocity at random number for rough surface are greater than that of smoke, in the beginning of boundary layer thickness when the thickness increase further the investigating parameter become more constant for both rough and smooth plate surface, uh so that's all from me thank you.
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Hanif bin Saiful Nizam. My matric ID is MA18108 and I'm from Klang, Selangor. I will continue for my part for this lab, which is uh, uh, my part is conclusions. Uh, in this particular lab, we have two experiments. So this slide is about the conclusion for experiment one, which is investigation on flow patterns of symmetric airfoil at angle zero degree. 30 degree and also 45 degree. The first conclusion that we can get is the drag forces increase when the angle of the attack increases, while lift forces decrease when the angle of attack increases. And the second one is lift force has a larger number of newton than drag force when fan speed increase. And the last one conclusion for the experiment one is. Um, both drag and lift forces decrease when speed of the fan is, is increases. So these three statements for this conclusion, I refer for to the result section, which is at the table 4.4 and also table 4.5. Next, I will continue for the experiment two, which is a flow over plate, flat plate with smooth and rough surfaces. The first conclusion that we get from this experiment is Smooth flat surface has more constant velocity of flow than rough flat surface. The second one, we refer to the graph that at the as the result sections we got we get two graphs which is a head distance versus boundary lateness and also Renault number versus boundary lateness. Refer to the graph, we can conclude that a boundary lateness affects consistency of head distance and a renal number. This is because for both surface, seen when the thickness is increases, head distance and also renal number uh, will be more constant. That's all from, from me. Thank you.